Uh, this is my uh, Mr. Bourne MP moment. Mr. Bourne is the MP who uh, looks remarkably like one Sven Joran Eriksson, who used to be England's manager. And when I was playing back my previous efforts, my wife overheard him and she said to me, why don't you say something about the difficulty, what we're going to say, uh, difficulty of getting jobs ab abroad? Because what the Europhiles will say, oh, but we have the freedom to go and work in France or Germany or Spain, if we so wish. But as my wife, I pointed out to my wife, she is a doctor of uh, 40 years standing. Uh, she uh, has been a member, a fellow of the Royal College of Physicians. But she could not hope to get a job in her speciality in France or Germany or Spain or Italy simply because of the language problem and also because of the difficulties of regulatory difficulties of satisfying this. And that is very true and I'm very glad to Mary for pointing this out to me because it is something the Europhiles come up with all the time. The fact is that we can't. Because whilst the English is the first language taught in every European school, in the UK we maybe learn French or maybe learn Spanish or German, but that is not the universal language. English is the lingua franca, is the universal language, and all the foreigners do it. It's even more so because most of their textbooks are written in English. They're not printed in the UK, but they certainly are written in the United States. So for that reason, you see, it is asymmetric. They can come and work here. They have the benefit of actually Hollywood, all the wonderful stuff, films that come out, English-speaking films. Who the hell watches French-speaking films or Italian-speaking films in this country? Not, not many. So therefore the whole thing is asymmetric and it's skewed against Brits going to work in the EU. We make it jolly easy for uh, them to come and work here. In fact, if by, you look at the population, London is the fourth biggest, has the fourth biggest French population in the world. It's, it's only Paris. Marseille and Lyon are bigger. It has a bigger French population in London than Bordeaux. And that shows how easy it is for them to come into this country because, of course, they have learned the language at an early age. And we make no regulatory requirements on, on these people. It's the same with German doctors. If you have had the misfortune to actually try and call out your GP at the weekend, you won't see him. Oh, no, no, he's signed off. He's, he's signed it over to a local agency who will be employing, guess what, Germans who fly in on Friday night to cover it. Some are good, some are bad, some speak good English, some speak poor English, and some are actually pretty lethal. And then they fly off again on Monday morning. Which other country of the EU would allow that to happen in its health system? Thank you.